up, Betty Bam? Dylan from Trail Betty's Overland. In this video, I'm going to show you how to kill your light bar whistle. I opened up the sunroof so you could hear what was going on. It's not quite as bad when it's closed, but it's definitely an annoying whistle that I pretty much always hear at any speeds over, I don't know, 40, 50 miles an hour. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what to do though. So what I'm pretty sure is happening is there's fins on the back of a light bar for heat, you know, the heat sink. And when you get air passing, above or below them that's when it starts to whistle so it's i'm not sure if my problem is specifically the top or bottom i'm going to try fixing the bottom first um, so there will be a little bit of trial and error here but i found this that it's called v seal weather strip self stick um, this is for doors and i'm hoping this sticky will be strong enough if it's meant to weather seal doors it should be pretty good right so here's your heat sinks. The first thing that you'll want to do is get some rubbing alcohol or some kind of a cleaner and clean out the fins where you'll be sticking this stuff into. Adhesives don't really work so well on dirt. So open up your weather stripping. We'll measure. Cut your weather stripping to size. Stuff's plastic, it's easy to cut. I guess next step is to stick it on. So go ahead and get a little bit of your tape started pulled off. And start sticking it in there. Get something to kind of push the adhesive onto the bar. Work your way across it. There we go. Just kind of keep pushing up against it while you work your way across. Let's go. It seems to be sticking pretty well. Once it's on there, it seems like it's really on there. Let's go take this for a test drive. Well, I guess we gotta do the top two. Well, the bottom helped a little bit, but sounds like our problem is more so on the top fins. So I got it cleaned out. We'll go install the weather stripping and then go for another test drive. See how it does. All right, so up here, I'm gonna install it on the second fin back. And I'm just gonna start pulling the Let's tape off again. Get it going. There we go. The key actually did pretty well to stick the back on. Put the tracks back on, take this for a test drive. This is the face of a happy man. The whistle is gone. Well, that did it. Can't believe it took me a year to fix that finally. Um, well, V-Seal weather strip, I don't know if that's what it's called at Lowe's, but this is at Home Depot for about $6 and it worked great all we had to do is disrupt the air from flowing across the fins some people say they tape the back of the light bar to fix the whistle and i'm not a big fan of that because those fins are necessary heat sinks so if you're using the light bar for a long duration of time which a lot of us are at night um, that could damage your light bar this way the fins can still breathe the whistle's gone cheap and easy fix and um, yeah, it just works, what can I say?
Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like our content, like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more content as it comes out. Hope to see you on the trails. This is Dylan from Trailbenders Overland. Out. Oh.